thank you for clicking on this video and today I am going to be showing you guys some of the things that I did and made and ate on vacation. So I went on vacation again and hung out with my friend that you have seen in a previous what I did on vacation video. So I went on vacation, went to his house, hung out with him for five days. It was so much fun and I'm going to recap what we made, what we ate, and things that we did. So let's just jump right into it. So I got Got to his house on Sunday. It was late in the day, so all we had was some dinner and dessert at a Midwestern place. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of it, but it's a place called Culver's. It's absolutely fantastic, kind of like fast food. And so I had a chicken sandwich there. We also had some concrete mixers, which is like custard, absolutely delicious. Custard as in like ice cream, sort of basically. Very good. So on Monday, we actually traveled a little bit north to a beautiful, like small town. It was so much fun. There were a lot of sights and stuff to see. We went on some trails and walked those and it was very, very beautiful. And we went to this one lunch place that served your lunch on a train. So like you sat down and there was a train. It just kept coming around and around. And when your food was ready, your food would be on the train. It was so cool. I had a chicken sandwich and some fries with that. Absolutely delicious. Awesome. And then for dinner, we went to a really fancy local place. Place. absolutely delicious it's like my favorite restaurant ever because the best meal I've ever eaten in my entire life was from that restaurant it was so so good I had mahi mahi fish and there was asparagus and mashed potatoes with it absolutely phenomenal highly recommend very very good food and it's like a seafood place I love seafood so that was awesome so yeah that was Monday it was a very nice and fun day and then so on Tuesday we went around and we picked up trash in a neighborhood I always like picking up trash. Yeah, it was really nice to do that. And for lunch that day, we made these LGBTQA sandwiches. And this recipe I made up on my own like three years ago. I wanted to make like an LGBT sandwich, but I decided LGBTQA to make it longer. And so what's gotten there, it's got lettuce, guacamole, bacon, tomato, a quesadilla, and either avocado oil mayo or aioli. And this time we did aioli. And it was fantastic. It was a great sandwich and I'm gonna show you guys like us making it and stuff now. Think you know how to cut tomatoes? Nope. I can try, but I don't think I know. See there that the bread looked very like burnt and crispy. He put it on like the lowest setting because I didn't want very crispy bread, but the, it somehow the toaster was like nah. So there's that, but it wasn't actually, it didn't taste that burnt. It tasted very well toasted and like perfect. So that was really good. And then so after we made the sandwiches, we watched Miss Doubtfire. Miss Doubtfire is my 100% all time 
favorite movie. I love that movie so much and he had never seen the full thing before so we obviously had to watch it and he liked it. He enjoyed it which is awesome. It's my favorite movie so I was very glad to see it. So that was a lot of fun. For dinner we made some turkey euros. I absolutely love euros and he had never actually had a euro before so we made euros for like the whole family and also these cheese triangle things. It's also a Greek thing like euros. I know he absolutely loves loves cheese triangles. So we made those because he absolutely loves them. We actually made them the first time and you use this phyllo dough. It has like little strips, like 12 little strips. They're very, very thin. So when we were making it, we assumed that it was too thin to just do one layer at a time. So we started with the whole chunk, the whole chunk, which honestly was not very thick, but it was literally like 12 layers of dough. And we later realized we were only supposed to use the one sheet. <laughs> so the first batch had had a lot of dough and then when we made the second batch we still didn't realize it was supposed to be one sheet so we had four layers which was still even too thick and then a couple days later we made it with one layer and then it was perfect but it was a whole debacle there <laughs> but it was a lot of fun anyway to make that <laughs> This seems really thick. Like that seems like a lot of dough, don't you think? Actually, maybe he's right. a little too hard and it would pew. Mm -hmm. And then after dinner, we did some Culver's again and had some ice cream. I had like a lemon one, which was absolutely delicious. Also, I want to say that on Sunday, I had mint and butter cake in mine. There's like a ton of different toppings that you can put in it. So those are my two toppings. So that was the end of Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, we went to this wildlife sanctuary in the morning. And the sanctuary has a ton of different little animals that you can look at and see. Some of them were out probably because the temperature or something I'm not really sure but there were like a lot of ducks and there were otters which were so cute there was an owl snakes and probably the highlight of it was wolves so when we first went to the wolf area there were no wolves we couldn't see any wolves they were just hiding I guess. A few minutes later while we were walking around somewhere else we started hearing howling and so we went back to the wolf area and we could see a ton of wolves around the area just howling and that was super super cool and a lot of fun to see. And then so once we got home we made some tofu pad thai and if you watched the last video you'll see that we did make that before and again absolutely fantastic. It was great. We had to make it again because it was awesome and also he had some leftover noodles so it was a great opportunity to use that but that was absolutely delicious yum look at our disgusting tofu <laughs> you always look so sad <laughs> like that i got overhead angle
and then we picked strawberries later in that afternoon and that was a lot of fun we had this big tin of strawberries and we like filled it with just one layer and we had so many strawberries it was great and honestly if you've never picked strawberries before 100% recommend because strawberries coming off the vine that are perfectly ripe are a million times better than any grocery store strawberry you will ever get in your entire life it's so good so I highly recommend that for dinner that night we made scallop chowder for his family and for us of course and that was actually really good I really enjoyed it he had never had scallops before but he enjoyed it which was great <laughs> And then we made molten lava cakes, which was so, so good. We weren't sure if it was gonna work because we had never made a molten lava cake before, but they turned out absolutely perfect. The outside nice and crispy like a brownie, and the inside perfectly flowing. The ice cream on top, oh, it was so perfect. It was just absolutely fantastic. I'm really impressed by that. That's probably the thing that I'm most impressed by us making because it was so perfect. Awesome. such a good job. And then comes Thursday. So Thursday morning, we just kind of chatted for a while until lunch. And at lunch, we made some chicken fried rice. My friend, his name is Harry, absolutely loves fried rice. So we had to make fried rice and it was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. It was good fried rice. So that was great. And then in the afternoon, we did an escape room and I had never done an escape room before. I've always wanted to do one. So we did an escape room and the one that we did was like an 80s arcade themed escape room. And it was so, so much fun. We did not escape, but it was still a lot of fun to like be basically in an 80s arcade. And we actually realized afterwards that the escape room is most fit for like observational people or creative thinkers. I mean, I'm fairly creative, but we are not observant people at all. He's probably more observant than me. I'm terrible at observing things. Right away, we had to do something with Pac-Man. So we went to the Pac-Man arcade game. What we did not notice for about five minutes was behind us, the entire wall basically was taken up by a giant Pac-Man like game, like screen, right on the wall. And we didn't notice for like five minutes. So we wasted a lot of time looking for things because we're not observant. So next time I do an escape room, I'm probably gonna do one that's more logical because I think that's where my mind fits better instead of observing things because that didn't go well. But we got decently close to finishing, which I was really proud of and it was so much fun. And then for dinner that night, we made some curry pasta, which was great. And then we also made a strawberry trifle, which was really, really good. And again, I'm also kind of impressed by the uh, appearance of it because I think it looked pretty, pretty nice and pretty because of all like the strawberries on the outside and stuff. It was really pretty and it was a lot of fun to make. So yeah, that was really good. Oh yeah, do some rotation of the bowl. Yeah. That's fancy. And then Friday. So Friday was the last day that I was at his house. So Friday morning, we went to Dave and Buster's, which is kind of like an arcade kind of place. And we go there like every time that we meet each other. So that was a lot of fun. And collectively, we have like 18,000 points. We're getting up there. We are going to get enough to buy like a PS2. 27 because by the time that we have enough tickets to get something there's gonna be a ps 27 out but yeah that was a lot of fun to do and then for lunch what did we do we had panera so i had the strawberry poppy seed salad with a baguette i love that salad so much it's still just so delicious 
love the salad and the baguette love the baguette <laughs> But that was a lot of fun. And then we drove back home. But that was such a fun vacation. I enjoyed every single minute and second of it. It was so much fun and hopefully you enjoyed this video just seeing and hearing what I did and ate and made and stuff. And yeah, that was such a fun vacation. I don't know what else to say. It was just great. I had so much fun. And thank you for watching this video and if you have any video suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below and then I will see you guys in the next video.